Hello, I'm Norman Tomlins and I'm from Voice Network. You can visit our domain name at www.voicenetwork.ca. In this video tutorial, we're going to teach you how to install CentOS and get your free switch system up and running. It's fairly simple. We're going to use um, the uh, VMware to do the tutorial so that we don't have to actually use a real machine. But you could go ahead and download the ISO onto a real machine and uh, install it exactly the same way. So we're going to cheat because I don't want to use the easy installer that they provide. So we're going to go ahead and select CentOS 5. Yes, 6 is out. Free switch will work on 6, but we're going to do this on 5 for now. So next. We're going to call it free switch. Next. We don't need 20 gigs. We can get away with 10. Okay. So that creates the, the, the bare image um, so that we don't have the easy installer harassing us. We're going to go edit the virtual machine settings now. We're going to go to the CD ROM drive. We're going to say use an ISO file. Back to my download section here and pick my favorite operating system there we go open okay so now that we've done that all we need to do is power on this virtual machine and if the virtual machine powered on we're going to type Linux text so we can use a text based installer You'll get exactly the same thing if you are using a, put the uh, ISO in a real machine. So there's not a lot of difference between the virtual machine and the real machine. I do not recommend running free switch on a virtual machine. Um, you will have audio issues as it's highly dependent on. Uh, we're gonna sorry, we're, it's highly dependent on uh, timing. So we're gonna skip the media check because we know it's good. Okay, welcome to CentOS. We're going to pick English. We're going to have a US keyboard. We're going to say go ahead and use everything on the uh, drive. So just important note here, if you're running a real machine, this will format everything, destroy all your data on that machine. So make sure this is what you want to do, is dedicate the machine for free switch. So we're going to say yes, we do. We're going to say this looks good. Click OK. We sure we want to do this? Yes, we want to format the machine and remove all the data. Go ahead. We don't want to review the partition layout. We're just going to let it go ahead and do it. We can set up um, the network interface right now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yes. We're going to enable IP6 support as well, just for kicks. We're going to click OK. We're going to put a manual IP address in. So we're going to use 192.168. 0 0.199 with our netmask of 255.255.255.0 we're behind NAT right now so my free switch box is going to run from behind a router and we're using a 192.168.0.199 yours could be 1.199 it all depends on what router you're using so we're going to click OK and we're going to say IP6, we're just going to say auto, automatic because we're actually not going to use IP6, but I thought we'd enable it for a later date. We're going to specify our gateway. So in my case, that's my router. I'm going to use Google DNS for my uh, DNS servers. We're going to click OK. Our host name, we're going to call this free switch dot voice network dot ca click OK we're actually in Toronto so we're going to go down and select Toronto OK and click OK we're going to type our password so we're going to say free switch I suggest you use a stronger password than this um, you know some letters and numbers and all kinds of good stuff so people can't get into your system we're going to click OK I can't type, so it's prompted me. So I'm going to say free switch again. Free switch 
Yahoo, I can type. Now, this is where it's very important. If we want to do this on one CD, we can't screw up this. So I'm going to say that, get rid of that. We're going to click Customize Software Selection. There's four items here we want to get rid of. So that we can get away with doing it with a single disk install without having to look at worry about inserting other disks. So this will only require one CD now to install your free switch system. So you click OK. It's going to say that it's going to create a log file for you. You're going to hit OK. It's going to format the file system. This looks like CentOS is off thinking about something and there it is. So it's going to take uh, probably a couple minutes for this to install. This is just the base install of CentOS. We're actually going to use um, yum to install the packages that we need and I have actually a, a nice little script that goes off and um, grabs all the uh, requirements for free switch. It downloads free switches and build, builds free switch for you so you don't actually have to do a lot after this process right after this little bit here. So we're going to let this install. This is just running on my um, my laptop. It's just a little i3 um, that I got VMware installed on, and it's running about six gigs of RAM, so um, it, it's going pretty quick. So while you're waiting, you're probably going to want to create yourself an account um, at Voice Network. You can go to www.voicenetwork.ca, and in the upper right-hand corner there is a portal button. You want to click on the portal button and then look for the uh, create new account link. Um, this will create an account so that you can actually tie your free switch system to the PSTN network, make outgoing calls and get yourself a phone number so that you can receive inbound calls um, and you'll want to do this to, you know, so you can follow along with our video series here. If you're um, looking for more information on FreeSwitch, FreeSwitch actually does have a wiki. You can go to wiki.freeswitch.org and you can also join the IRC, um, which is FreeSwitch, obviously, and that's hosted, I believe, on irc.freenode. Um, I use the Windows um, client here to actually connect to the IRC. Um, Hydra IRC, it works well. And there you'll find approximately you know two to three hundred people answering questions and chatting about free switch. This is an excellent resource um, for getting help, and so is the free switch wiki. The other thing is I want to mention is that on um, Wednesdays, free switch does have a a community conference call at one p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you can find out about this on the wiki as well. So if you go to wiki.freeswitch.org. Um, you can find everything you need about the conference calls and stuff like that. So there is a lot of community input on the FreeSwitch project. Okay, so we're going to go ahead here and reboot our system. Yeah, let me just click on the window here and press enter. Now hopefully this won't try and uh, boot into the CD-ROM again. And it didn't, so we're good. So CentOS is booting up, it's been installed correctly, everything is good. The reason we set a, um, a static IP address on the free switch box was so that when we have our soft phones, um, we'll know what IP address they can they register to, because what might happen is, you know, your network power resets, your free switch gets a new IP address which isn't the same, and then all your phones are trying to register to a box that's, you know, not there anymore because it's got a new IP address. So I'd always suggest that you uh, use a static IP address on your network for free switch whenever possible. A lot of the, uh, the home routers now, you can actually have it do DHCP and then you can go into your router and you can say make this say uh, a static IP address. So that works too if you can do that. Okay, so our free switch box is booted up here, so we're going to go root and then 
the password was free switch. And if we need to see what the IP address is, we can do an IP config. And we can see here that uh, our CentOS is 192.168.0.199. So let's go to, uh, we're going to do wget. And we're going to say www.voicenetwork.ca slash git it. Um, free switch is, uses git as a repository to manage its source code. So I, I create a little script called git it. Um, oh, so we actually don't have wget, so we're going to do yum install wget. And if I configured everything right, it should go off to the network and grab a copy of wget. So it looks like my uh, my internet's dead, or um, the network cards on the uh, this VMware are not happy. So let's go just a quick take a look here and see if we can fix it. Settings, and we're going to say network adapter. So we're running that. This should actually have been bridged. I don't know why it does that, but. We'll see if it's fixed itself here, www.network.ca. Okay, so we changed it to bridge and it's happening now. So we can do a yum get, yum install wget. We're gonna say yes, go ahead and install it. We're going to accept the fact that we accept the key. Okay, so now we can do wget www.voicenetwork.ca slash get it. And this little script um, will actually go off and download free switch, download git, and install it all for you. Okay, so now we've got our get it script. We're going to run it. So get it. SH. Now this is going to detect how many cores you've got and make sure every, all the packages are installed. It's going to go off and get uh, get it 1.7 and it's going to install it and it should also download free switch at the same time for us. Okay, so as you can see, it's compiling get it. And I'm going to pause the recording while this thing goes off and does its thing. I'll, I'll hop back on in a second when it starts to go grab free switch. Actually, this will take long. Um, Okay, so now it's gone off and uh, it's starting to go grab free switch from uh, Git. As you can see, it's downloading it here. And we're doing about, I guess, uh, shouldn't take that long. So I'm going to put you back on pause so this thing can go off and do its thing. Okay, so free switch is uh, doing its bootstrap and in this part it actually is creating its dot config file which this script will run for you you don't actually have to do anything this is like a you know a five minute hands-off process it detects on whatever CPUs you've got and compiles free switch for you based on whatever the CPUs you've got so it's just a waiting game so once this is done free switch will be up and running hi I'm just popping back as you can see um, free switch is compiling here um, because I'm only running a single core um, VM instance it's going to take a little bit longer so the good thing is we can pause the video and you don't actually have to wait but you will have to wait for your own free switch to, to compile so 
Okay, so our free switch compile has just installed. Um, the script also installs all your sound files for you, so you don't actually have to go and install those separately. So we're just going to fire up free switch quickly, but before we do that, we need to change the default passwords on the free switch extension. So we're going to go CD user local free switch, and we're going to go into the config directory. And then we're going to edit a file called vars.xml. And then you'll see there's a big warning here. It says warning, 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 warning. You should change this default password. That's what we're going to do right now. So the default password is set for 1234. I never recommend having numbers for a password. I like to do something like, you know, why are you using free switch today? You know, so that way you can kind of remember it. So why are you using free switch today is our password for our phones. And you can go back and look up. Oops. This will actually set the password for all the uh, extensions that are defaulted in free switch and already create it. But in the next video, we're going to go through and show you how to set up your soft phone to talk to free switch. Um, we're going to talk about the dial plan a little bit, um, how to set up, um, a VoIP provider and we're going to use voice network um, in our example. Um, that's why earlier in the video I recommend that you go and create account, an account with voice network and that's at portal.voicenetwork.ca and you can also visit their main web page at www.voicenetwork.ca. Anyways, this concludes our video. Um, just one last thing here. Um, I ran into a bit of an IP conflict while doing this video. So I have changed our IP to 198 instead of 199 as shown earlier in the video. So just so you know, um, it may be a little different. You can go and change yours if you want to continue to follow along. Um, if you want to know how to do that, I'll quickly show you. You go to etc, system config, slash, um, network scripts. And you edit a file called if uh, cfg eth0 and right here it says IP ADDR and then you just change that to 198 and then you save the file um, and then you can just reboot your box if you want or you can just restart the network services but anyways thank you very much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot um, in the next video we're gonna start up free switch and we're actually gonna register a x soft phone and make our first phone call thank you